This is a 1 million acre stretch of land that could provide the whole state of Arizona enough energy for two years. And this is President Joe Biden dedicating that same land in Arizona as a national monument using the power of the Antiquities Act of 1906. The Antiquities Act of 1906 was established to protect lands by dedicating the smallest area compatible with the proper care and management of the objects to be protected. Biden applied the act to the National Monument in Arizona. The alleged reasoning? To protect the land for indigenous people's ceremonies, herb gathering, and to preserve the natural environment as part of his conservation goal to protect 30% of the U.S.'s land and water by 2030. This is a nuclear power plant. It produces electricity by splitting atoms in a process called fission. As the water heats, it produces steam, which then turns turbines that generate electricity. Element 92, the feared material uranium, often associated with nuclear bombs and radioactivity. What you might not know is one single pellet of uranium in a nuclear reactor can produce as much energy as a metric ton of coal. But what about nuclear waste, the hazardous materials that are left behind after uranium has been processed in a nuclear reactor? This is a single sheet of paper. If a person were to use nuclear energy for an entire year, this is the amount of waste that would be produced. This waste is reused or placed in a 40 foot deep pool for five years. Within the first month, 87% of the radioactivity is gone. After the cooling pool, the waste is placed in a dry cask. Now, you may have an image of green hazardous goo in your mind when it comes to nuclear waste, but the real thing is much more innocuous and minimal. So minimal that a 10 yard deep football field could contain all of the waste the US has produced since 1950. For comparison, that is the amount of waste that would be produced by a coal plant in a single hour. Wind power is the choice alternative by the Biden administration and green lobbyists. The problem with power from wind turbines is their inconsistency. Capacity factor is the ratio of electricity produced to the quantity it could produce over a year if it was running at full capacity. If you factor in capacity, it takes 2,077 wind turbines to match the energy of a 1,154 megawatt nuclear reactor. Wind turbines have to be spaced apart, and there is no guarantee that the wind will blow. While wind turbines sound green, imagine thousands and thousands of wind turbines for miles and miles, breaking, killing birds, and taking up space. When I think green energy, that's not what I'm hoping for. Look at this formation. This is a breccia pipe a natural formation that contains uranium ores and is formed over thousands of years. Energy Fuel's Pinion Plain Mine is a uranium mining operation located within the acres that Joe Biden just dedicated. They retain their existing rights to mining in the area, but all other existing deposits are unavailable. Far from a million acres, the mine only requires 17 acres to operate and safety is prioritized both for the workers and for the surrounding area. In fact, natural leaching from the breccia pipes in the area possibly leads to more radioactive contamination than the mining site itself. All process and runoff water are contained and a PVC lining is placed below the site to prevent runoff. Three Mile Island, March 28, 1979. At 4 a.m., a partial meltdown of a nuclear reactor near Middletown, Pennsylvania occurred. The accident upended the industry in the U.S. The accident brought about essential changes to the industry considering safety and regulations. Safety is essential, but sadly, some of the industry has moved abroad to places like Russia and Kazakhstan where safety is not a priority. Sulfuric acid is injected in mines to extract uranium. This is a hazardous, dangerous process that often involves radioactivity leaching into the groundwater of the area. It's fast, it's cheap, but it is unsafe. This method is both dangerous for the miners and for the surrounding areas, as the water in the area becomes contaminated. Alleged child labor and terrible pollution are two factors that would make anyone think twice about supporting the industry abroad. 
Yet instead of investing in clean and safe practices here in the US, we spend $1 billion per year buying uranium from just Russia. Images of what mining was like in the Cold War era have left a bitter taste in people's mouths. Terrible mining conditions and the mess that was left behind are not forgotten. However, the mining of today is practically unrecognizable. After mining is finished, the area is backfilled and reforested. It soon resembles the environment that it once was. So today, it's generally disingenuous to associate uranium mining with environmental damage. But here's what Biden said. Preserving these lands is good not only for Arizona, but for the planet. It's good for the economy. It's good for the soul of the nation. And here's what he didn't say. On that same land are valuable uranium deposits that could provide many Americans with clean energy for years. Fear-mongering over uranium might have been tenable in the 1970s, but it is no longer today. With safety practices, environmental policies, and federal regulations that monitor this environment, there is little to worry about and much to gain when it comes to increasing uranium production in the United States and providing clean energy through nuclear reactors. As tensions escalate between China, Russia, and the US, the last thing the US needs is to be dependent on foreign sources for its energy. Domestic uranium mining and clean nuclear energy could provide a path forward to reduce our dependence on foreign sources and provide cleaner energy for a better future.